Do you want to learn how to make animated YouTube videos just like this? Well if so, stick around because I'm going to show you how to easily create engaging animated videos using a simple software program and you don't have to have any drawing or animation skills whatsoever. Hi, it's Steve from It Makes Sense where we talk about the tools, the tips, and the strategies to start a YouTube business. And one of the tools I want to talk about is a program called VideoScribe. And it can help you create animated videos for YouTube or anywhere else you need an animated video. So the first thing you're going to want to do is download VideoScribe. And I will leave a link in the description below if you want to get a trial version and follow along. When you first log on to VideoScribe, this is the menu. So you can either choose some of your recent scribes, Local scribes, these are scribes that you save on your computer. Online scribes, video scribe does give you some online storage, but I think it's better to just have it on my local computer. And then they have template scribes. So you can cr use these templates to start creating your scribes. Now I should back up and tell you that Video Scribe calls all their animations scribes. So that's when I say when I'm that's what I mean when I say scribes. So let's go and create a brand new scribe from scratch. Let's go create scribe. Now this is your canvas and it is endless. It goes on and on and on. And let's just go over some of these menu items. So this one here is how you save or export your scribe. This is the cut. So when you have an image on here or text, you can cut and then copy and then paste. And then right here, this is if you want to add some music background to your scribes. Um, I normally don't do that, but for this, let's just add, I have this jazz, let's do Miles From Home. So if I click on this, this will be playing in the background of my scribe. So let's just turn this down a little bit. And I want this to loop. All right. Now, if I were to do a voiceover, which I don't use this, but if I wanted to add my voice, this is where you would do it and you would connect it to your local microphone. Right now I'm using a Blue Yeti. Here's your background. So for this scribe, let's choose, there's different options you have, different filters, different textures. So let's choose this paper texture and I'm gonna keep it white, but you can see that there's many different colors. You can choose any color you want, just adding the hex value here, but I'm gonna keep it white. Actually, let's make it a little bit of gray and let's and then i'm not going to add a vignette but you can have a soft vignette or a hard vignette but i'm going to have no vignette and i'm going to hit that so you can see we have a little a paper look this is your drawing hand so when your animations show up this is the hand that's going to show up so there's different things you can do like pen so this is what it would look like and what I'm gonna use, oh, well, one thing I wanna show you is this seasonal, which is pretty cool. The different uh, themed hands. So if I go over here, you can see like if you were to do a scary or Halloween, they have a skeleton hand drawing. So, but I want to choose, I, I want Joe with this marker and I'll show you Joe in a second. This is your play button. So once I start creating my animation and I wanna view it, this is the play. This is where we're going to download and export our animation. And then right here, this is how we add images. We're going to add images and text. And if you wanted to add a graph, you would do it right here. So let's start from the beginning. And I am going to add text. So right here, let's just type in, do you want to learn how to make an animated YouTube video? And right here, if I want to, I can change different fonts. So I'm going to keep it this font here. You can light, black, regular, thin. There's more fonts available if you wanted to import fonts. But I'm going to keep it this. And this is just left justified, center justified, right justified. And this is the text color. So I'm going to add that here. And I'm going to add it right here. And then once I add this element, you'll see it in the timeline right here. So, all right, so let's go through some of these options. So if I go to view elements, camera position, and I click on that, this is how it's going to look when it's animated. So if I hit play, you can see that it's in the center of the screen and Joe is writing it in. There's other options as well. There's lock this in the place. There is the options, which we're gonna come back to then you can delete it or you can hide it. So let's go to the element properties. So right here, there's many different options we need to go through. So you can either have this element drawn in, you can have it moved in. So 
want to see how to preview that. It's taking a long time because of right here. The animate right here is showing at 11.8 seconds, which means it's taking 11.8 seconds to either move it in, draw it in, or fade it in. And that's just way too long. So I want to reduce this to, let's call it, three seconds. Pause is how long after the animation is done and for it to pause. And then transition is how long it takes to go from one animation element to the next. And I'll show you that all in a second. So I want this to be drawn in, but I want it to be three seconds and let's hit that and let's see how that looks. Actually, I want it to be at the top. And I want it to start right here. Now to lock this in, and I want this to be the camera view, I'm gonna hit this button right here, which is set camera to current position. So now if I come back here and I hit this, it's not moving because this is the camera position I want it to be in. So if I hit play, you can see now it's drawing it in much quicker. And the zoom at end I don't like, so I'm going to, whenever I play it over again, let's play it over, let's uncheck that. Now that's exactly how that first element's going to look. So let's now, I don't want it to say YouTube, I actually want it to be the YouTube logo. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add an image. So let's first edit this. So now I want to add an image. So I come down here, hit add new image. So you can see there's all kinds of different images that come with VideoScribe. But let me show you one thing. If I scroll over to all these buildings, all right, maybe buildings isn't a good example. Let's go to Globe. I search on Globe and scroll over. See these images right here with the red line? That means you have to pay for these images. So this image here costs $3.70. So if I click on this, you can see with your hand what it looks like. This is a preview of it. But for right now, I want to upload my own image. So I am going to import this image and go to my desktop and find my image. Open it up. I want it to move in. I don't want it drawn in. And I want it to come from, let's have it come from the bottom center. So let's move it here. YouTube. Now, if I were to look at this camera angle, if I click on this, it's, see, I don't want this camera angle. I want both of these to be in the same angle, so or same shot. So let's go back here. Actually, no, let's do this. And then what I would do is I would click on this, hit the control button, click on that, and set this, set camera to current position. So now if I were to play it, that's how it would look. But this is taking too long. So the transition's one second, which is fine. I probably have this being moved in, yeah, six seconds to move in. I only want this to be one second to move in. And I have pause and we'll come back to the transition. And there's other options. You can change the drawing hand if you want. I'm not drawing this in, I'm actually moving it in. So this is where you can choose your drawing hand if you want to change the hand from the one you set up here. The drawing options, like I said, we're moving it in. We're not drawing the YouTube in. The graphic filters, um, let's close. Graphic filters, blur, glow, brightness, saturation. I'm not gonna change any of this. I'm not gonna add a drop shadow. And select image, we've already done that. So let's go back to drawing options. I want this to move in at one second. I want it to pause for 0.5 seconds and I want a transition of one second. So let's see how that looks now. Oh, one thing I see here is I need to center this. So let's center this. And now we need to change this. Okay, perfect. Now I want to add, let me copy this so I can copy this and come down here and paste it. And I want this to be videos or video. I want it to be centered. So let's go back to edit text. 
want to be centered. Let's move it here. And I want all three of these to be in the same camera position. So let's do that. I want it to be, let's make it 0.5 seconds. All right, so let's go back here. I don't want there to be a pause between this. So let's get rid of this and zero transition. So now let's see what this looks like. All right, I don't want there to be a pause here either. So no pause, no transition, because it's all on the same screen. Play one more time. All right, so that's how, that's our intro. Now let's move the screen around. I want the next thing to be So let's zoom in. So from this animation here that we saw, I wanted to go to this animation next. So let's do this and come here, click on this, and I want this to be the current camera position. Same thing with this red X. I want this to be drawn in one second. No pause, no transition, and this is going to be, let's call it one second. And there we go. Now let's see how this looks. There we go. So that is the transit. You can see the transition from when I go from here, one camera angle to the next. So that's the transition time. So now I want to move this over. All right, my scribe is all done. Now what takes the longest for me is I usually do my voiceover first and I do that in Audacity, then import that into my video editing software. And then I go back once I have my animation how I want it and I match it up with the different settings. So as you saw, I was going back and changing the transition times and animation times so that it matches my voice. All right, now that my animation's done, it's time to export this. So you come up here, hit download or publish. Now you can save it if you're to do a like a PNG as like a PowerPoint slide. You can save it to Vimeo, but I'm just going to save it to my local desktop. So right here, I'm gonna save it as an AVI file because that's what my video editing software supports. I wanna change the size to 1080 full HD. And I also like to keep my frame rate pretty high. It makes the file a lot larger and it also takes a lot longer to render. But just in case I need to play with the video speed when I'm editing, I want it to have the highest frame rate only so it doesn't look as choppy if I slow things down or speed things up. And then I just create my name and save it to my hard drive. And this can take a really long time. So grab a cup of coffee and we'll come back once this is done. So once the animation's done, I take the file and I just import it over into my video editing software, which is Adobe Premiere. Now you don't have to edit your video scribes in any editing software. You can do everything within video scribe. You can add your background, your music, you can add your voiceover, but I just like to add this extra step just so I can clean things up. Creating animation videos is a great way to make YouTube videos without showing your face on camera. They are fun, engaging, and you can really do any type of animated video using VideoScribe. However, if you want to see other channel ideas you can do without showing your face on camera, go watch this video right here. Or if you don't want to watch that video, go watch this video right here. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.